Hey everyone, today I wanted to go over some bathing accessories and how to care for them and hopefully you can pick up some tips so that you can get the most out of your bathing experience. So the first accessory I'm going to show you guys is going to be the shower brush. Now the shower brush is going to be a pre-bathing accessory, which means you're going to be using it before you even get wet. Now I'm pretty sure you can use this in the shower, but to get the most out of your shower brush, you're going to want to use it before. So what exactly does a shower brush do? It can reduce cellulite, it can help digestion, it can help with acne, it helps remove toxins, and of course it helps exfoliate your skin and removes all your dead skin cells. So when you're out buying your shower brush, you're going to want to look for one that has a handle. This way you can reach your back and anywhere else without having to bend over and get into really awkward positions and test your yoga abilities. This one here has a piece of fabric so I can hold it with my hand and my handle comes right off. You're gonna to wanna to brush towards the direction of your heart and the way that your blood flows back. I can already see all my dead skin cells on my arm hairs. Your brush is gonna act much like a massage, how it removes your toxins. If you really, really wanna know how much toxins that this is removing from your body, I'm gonna give you a really quick experiment. You're gonna brush your whole body, take a washcloth and wipe up a part of your body, stick the washcloth into a Ziploc bag and seal it for like, a couple of days, probably two, three. I wouldn't go past four or five. And then you're gonna smell the washcloth and you're gonna smell all the toxins that you've been removing. So you can use the brush on a daily basis. It works most effectively if you do it before your shower. And you can use it anywhere between five and 15 minutes. Get yourself a shower brush, do some extra exfoliating, detoxification, anti-cellulite, blood circulation, pro, brush goodness. So the next product I'm going to share with you is the loofah. And a lot of people are going to be surprised when I tell them that this right here is a loofah. So the loofah is a natural plant-based body scrubbing tool. It's made from the Chinese okra plant. It's a natural, very environmentally friendly choice if you're looking for an environmentally friendly body scrubber. So I'm going to show you what it looks like once you start getting it damp. When you're in the shower or your bath and you're using your loofah, you're going to want to start getting it wet. The more wet you get it, the more softer it's going to get. Right here is just a little bit damp, so you can see that it's already squishy and really easy to use. So when you're using your loofah, you're going to want to start up at your shoulder levels and work your way down your body. Loofahs are bacteria breeding grounds, unfortunately. So you're not going to want to put it on your face. You're going to irritate your face. You're probably going to get a lot of acne. And on that note of what you're not supposed to use this for, don't use this for your private parts. These are a bacteria breeding ground. Understand that. When they're dry, nothing's gonna grow, nothing bad is gonna happen, but when these are wet, bacteria is everywhere. This is a natural plant. This is, of course it's gonna have bacteria, of course it's gonna collect bacteria. And you don't wanna be putting any extra bacteria down there, whether you're a man or a woman. You're gonna wanna replace it about every three, four weeks. Um, sometimes you can make them last about six weeks if you're taking really good care of them, which means after you're done showering, you're going to want to rinse off your loofah. Make sure you get all the soap out, all the dirt out, and you're going to want to dry it, which means you're not going to leave it in your shower because the next person that showers is going to make your loofah moist and it's going to be bacteria growing and then it'll dry and moist dry, moist dry, moist dry. So you're going to want to take it out of your shower and let it dry completely. It's also advised that you sanitize this at least once a week, which means putting it into a pot and letting it boil for a couple of minutes. The next thing I'm going to introduce to you is the shower poop. This is what I always called a loofah throughout my whole life. So the shower poop is a man-made synthetic mesh material all wound up like this so that you get a really, really soapy, sudsy reaction when you're showering. Your shower poop is going to be more gentle than the loofah. So if you have sensitive skin or you're not looking for a deep exfoliation like you're going to get with the loofah, go ahead and use your shower puff. Shower poof, shower puff, shower poof, shower puff. 
I'm probably gonna be saying it both ways. Now these you can use with either body wash or bar soap. It's completely up to you and you're gonna get the same sudsy experience. Because these are man-made and they're made of this weird mesh material, they are not environmentally friendly. You can find some shower poofs that are made from 100% recycled material, which is great. And a lot of people, after they use these, they use them for arts and crafts, which is super cool. Hey, you can also keep buying these all throughout the year and use them to make yourself like a shower poof for Halloween. So you're gonna wanna replace your shower poof and your loofah the same amount of time, about three to five weeks. The next thing I'm gonna introduce you to is the exfoliating glove. These bad boys are really good if you use bar soap and you don't want it to slip out. These are also really good if you like to really feel exactly where you're getting on your body so you're not missing any crevices. With your exfoliating glove, you can use bar soap, you can use gel soap, doesn't really matter. You're gonna wanna make sure that these are dry in between uses, just like your loofah. I personally really think that these are a great way to start getting children to properly bathe themselves and to see all the parts that they have to wash on their body. You're gonna get all sorts of different textures. You're gonna get some that are more rough. You're gonna get some that kinda look like a loofah. You're gonna get some that look like this, which is, I don't even know what kind of material this is. It's, you can also find some gloves that feel like washcloth material. So you're gonna have much more of a selection of texture when you're using these gloves. They're pretty straightforward. There's not much more I can tell you about these gloves other than make sure that you keep them dry because you don't want to use this. Leave it in the corner of your bathtub and when you go to shower the next day, it's still all wet and gross and now you're feeling a wet, soapy shower glove. There's a lot of people out there that can't afford to go out and buy these. These aren't very expensive. Prices of these go anywhere from about a dollar from the dollar store to like 10 to 15 dollars at a drugstore, a beauty store, or even Walmart. There are a lot of us with a budget that we're working with and we can't find the extra cash because it's going towards something more important and that's perfectly fine because you can still use your washcloth. Washcloths are easy to use, everybody has them, and they're really easy to care for. All you do is throw it in your washer, throw it in your dryer, and you put it in your cupboard until your next use. This is going to be one of your only products that you can use over your entire body. Just like these, you're going to want to make sure you're taking this out of your shower after you're using it. Showers and bathrooms are bacteria breeding grounds, unfortunately, but it doesn't mean that you can't get clean and can't take care of yourself. You just have to take care of your bathing products. So to take care of your washcloth, you want to use it once and then throw it into your washer and grab a new one for your next shower. There isn't much information I can give you about a washcloth. They've been around for a very long time. Everybody's been using them. Everybody has them. The only thing negative I can that I might be able to say about washcloths is that if you're shaving your legs or your armpits or anything else, washcloths pick up hair like no tomorrow. But what if you don't want to use any of these shower accessories? There's nothing wrong with using these, but what if you just want to use just your soap and you don't want to have all the extra? You can get a soap cozy. Soap cozies are actually really easy. You can DIY them from a normal washcloth. The soap cozy is just a piece of fabric that is going to be sewn along all the sides or three out of the four sides and a soap is going to be inside. All you're going to do is get it wet and it's going to be soapy and that's how you're washing yourself. And they're really good for families. If you want to use one bar of soap but you have a family of three or four, you each have your own soap cozy, then all you have to do is have one bar of soap, slip it in your individual soap cozy, wash, toss your soap cozy into the washing machine and the soap is ready for the next user with their soap cozy. Soap cozy, soap cozy, soap cozy. I've said it too many times. Chic Soaps happens to sell soap with the soap cozy already around it. So when I go down this weekend to get a new bar of soap, I'm gonna buy one with a cozy already made so I don't have to worry about doing that myself. Skin is your body's largest organ. A lot of people refer to our skin as our third kidney because it's how we release toxins. Our skin does so much for us. We should be taking more care of it. It's the only skin we have. So whether you have cellulite or acne or stretch marks or scarring 
or if you have skin issues, sensitive skin, rough skin, dry skin, there's always a way to pamper yourself and make yourself feel good and there's always a chance that you can improve your skin condition and make yourself feel a little bit more luxurious on a regular basis. The soap is always important, but sometimes it's how we wash ourselves that we're having troubles with. So whether you use a bar soap, a body wash, a gel, or even a shower parfait, that's right, shower parfait. It's a whipped soap. Ah. However much care you're putting into what you're using as soap, you're going to want to put that much care into what you're using the soap with, because it is just important. At least I think it's important. What you use is depending on the level of intensity of your scrub. If you want a rough scrub, use this. If you want a medium scrub, use your loofah. If you don't want anything too rough, but you still want to get clean and wipe all over, go ahead and use your glove or your washcloth. So don't forget to go to ChicSoaps.com or if you're in the area, go down to the soap gallery that Chic Luxury Soaps and Cosmetics offers you on Douglas Street in Victoria, BC. Go get some bar soap, go get a body wash or a body gel, and if you're really feeling like you need to have a little bit of a pamper, go get a parfait. The next video you're going to see is going to be a parfait review. How exciting is that? I've been talking about this for a few videos and you have no idea what you're in for. This stuff feels amazing. And all of Chic Luxury Soap's products are natural and organic and are made to pamper your body and take good care of it the way that we should be. Comment and let me know what kind of shower accessories you use. Let me know if you've been calling your shower poof a loofah, like I have for basically my whole life. And I'll see you guys next video.